Okay, I thought I would uh, just show you a few things. Um, so I was playing around with uh, Blender. I'm currently using Blender 2.81 Alpha A. Uh, so anyhow, but uh, I just kind of created like a, a pillar and then created to look like it's broken. Um, but I'll show you how you can do that. Start with a clean slate. Then I'm going to hit Shift um, A and Shift A. Bring up this menu. I'll go to uh, let's go to cylinders, and it creates one there for me. And I'm going to hit Tab to edit it. I'm going to go up underneath. I'm going to hit three. So it selects faces. And I want to go up here. If this isn't out already, you hit N to bring this out. N will bring this menu out. Then I'm going to hit zero, so I can shrink that up to uh, zero. Now, after I've done that, I'll go up here to this one, and you know I can hit I, which uh, will allow me to inset. It won't let me outset. It'll let me inset. Now, if um, I want to do it outwards I'd have to hit scale well shoot that wouldn't work but scale will let you go out but you see it cones it inset will bring your lines in I'll zoom in so you can see a little better I for inset see I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit maybe like so and then now I'll hit E for extrude and I can push it in or I'll pull it up in this case I'm going to pull it up and then I'll take and do another I for inset for example maybe here and then E for extrude again just bring it up like so now I want to take it up we'll do 3M even okay you can make it as tall as you want but for now that's what I'll do now what I can do is I'll hit say 3 or 1 will take me to the you know, the side views or front views and I'm going to hit shift Z shift Z will take it to uh, the lines and I'm going to hit 2 so I'm selecting um, the edge edges now I've got all this selected because I so since I've got all this selected I'm going to hit right click go up to subdivide and then I'm going to do it again here let's see subdivide and I'm going to select these and I'm going to subdivide like so. Now, I can then at that point go say this one here. I'm going to hit Shift Z. That'll take me back out here. S for scale. So now I can pinch this in if I want. And I'm going to hit Shift Z again. I'm going to select these. And I'm going to hold down shift while I select these ones. Right click, hit subdivide. Now I can hold shift down and get these ones over here too. Now I hit scale again and just move these down just a little. And it starts giving me like this beveled look in here now. See? Now I hit shift Z, takes me back out here. If I hit tab, takes me back out to my overall look. Now what I want to try and do maybe is go back to tab and I want to select these edges here. So select all these. Uh, around through here. Oh, well, you know what? I don't want I just want these edges here. This is all I want selected. Not that, but these edges. Now, once I've got all these selected, I'll show you what I'm going to do. But and you don't have. To, I mean, it's whatever type of design you want to come up with. You know, I'm just using this as a an example. But I just figured instead of going on the internet, doing a search for, you know models trying to find a pillar that you like the looks of okay now I'm going to hit control B control B for Bravo B 
and it's for beveled. And if I would just pull it away, you see it does that. And if I if I scroll my mouse wheel, I add more lines in there. So I can put as many in or take as many lines out as I want. Maybe I'll go one more there. Something like that. That just rounds the edge a little bit for me. I want I, I like that right there personally. And then I can do the same thing around the top of this here. Um, let's get all these selected. But you can go for whatever look you want. And I just I just like whoops. What could be done with it? You know, I'm gonna try something a little different. We could bevel the edge of this like the other one. Or not. I will bevel it a little bit. Let's go B or control B, bravo. Pull it down a little bit. Let's take a couple of those out. I don't want a lot, just a little. Little bevel to it. Now I'm gonna hit one so I get a side face. Just click out here, I'm gonna hit Z. Or shift Z and I'm going to select all these faces in here or all these edges in here and I'm going to hit subdivide and I'm going to do subdivide again alright now I'll hit Z come back or control or shift Z and I'm going to hit size mm, nope let's do control B oh look what you can do there yeah, but now let's do. Nope, I don't want that. All right, let's go back to one. Shift Z. I'm just going to grab maybe this one. Scale just a little bit out, and I'll come back. Grab these two, and I'll S for scale. Ooh, I can go in. That gives a little different look to it. Kind of like that. Shift Z. Uh, click on your tab. Now I've got my different looks. My pillar, right? Now we need the top. Correct? Well, do hold down Shift, hit D, and just left click anywhere. Now I got two copies of this, so I'm going to right click mirror along the z-axis mirrored it uh, G then Z so G for grab Z for going up the z axis or axis then you got six so I'm going to put it at six now as you see there's side but we've got that line in there right so what we can't do is click this hold down shift and click this one as well then you hold down control J and that makes it one mesh so now you don't have that line in there anymore. Alright. But now since it's one mesh, if I hit G, I grab it. But let's say, uh, you know what? I don't want it to be one mesh. I know it's technically two pieces in there, but I don't want it to be one mesh anymore. So I can uh, click on it, hit tab, hit A, um, hit A to highlight everything, hit P, then go down here, buy, lose parts. That separates it, hit tab again. Now I can click this and uh, move it to wherever I want, but I'm going to get rid of it for this minute because I'm going to show you how I did this other part. So hit tab. We got this here. I'm going to hit one. That shows me my verts. I'll just grab one. Hit G Z. So I'm going along the, the G axis. G Z and G Z. I'm going to pull this one up. G Z. I'll go down with this one. We'll leave that one there. GZ go down maybe. GZ go down a little bit more. GZ. 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 In case you're not hearing what I'm saying, G as in golf and Z as in Zulu. You know what? I wanna go down G Z again. I'll go I'm gonna go down with this one G. 
each one just deciding where I want to go along that Z axis whatever I think looks like eh, yeah you know let's try that if I just hit G I can move it anywhere I hit Z and it locks it on that Z axis So that's what I'm doing Each one. Okay, so tab out. Now I got a broken pillar. Now hold down shift, then hit the D at the same time. Left click. Now I've got two of them. I'll take and hit. R for rotate. I'm going to go along the X axis. So it tilts along that X axis like so. Then hit G and I'm going to go Y. Do a slide along the Y axis. Just tilt it right. Now I can click at G, Z. Bring it up a little bit. And we're back to kind of like where we started and we, when I was showing you the thing to begin with. That shows you a little bit of tools, what you can do with it. You can get more creative, but um, I just wanted to show you how you can make a pillar or even uh, create a broken one, for example, or whatever you want to do. And then the boxes or the squared pillars would be even easier. Shift A, mesh cube, um, we again, tab. Hit three for faces. We'll take that from negative one to zero to one. Then you can just do something like um, let's do I for inset, E for extend, and then let's do scale. That will taper that. See that there? And then I can do I for inset again. And then you can do E for extrude. And we can take out the three again. Bam. Tab, take us out of the edit mode. And then if I want to take Shift D, I got two copies of it. I'm going to mirror it along the Z axis. And I'm going to G, Z, slide it up. Looks like six. Bam. We got our line in there. Hold down shift, click that one too. Control J. There you go. So, anyhow, you can even get a little more creative if you want. You can do three face, um, tab, you know, something along, and then extrude. Well, hold on. E for extrude. What is going on? E. It's locking in on the Z axis for whatever reason. E. There. So inset them. Yeah, I'll give you a little more decorative look if you want. But just getting creative and using the tools. But hopefully this helped some of you guys out. People just asked me to do more videos and showing how to build and create things, so I thought I would show that. Alright, see you at the next video.